In this video, we're going to take a look at a Jetpack module that enables related posts. And this puts little icons at the bottom of each post that shows posts that are similar. It's been statistically proven that sites that have related posts at the bottom of other posts get more traffic. People are interested. They're curious. They want to know what those other posts are about. And so they click. One of the problems with related posts historically is that for a long time, people tried to make plugins that intelligently related the posts. They would read the text and try to find posts that were similar in content. And it's very, very system intensive and really slowed down the site. Jetpack simply does it by showing other posts in the same category. That's very, very fast. In some ways, it's a little limiting. But by and large, I think it makes great sense because the site owner is making the relationships with categories ahead of time. So let's take a look at how it works. Here is related posts. And we're actually looking at my own blog here because in order for this to make any sense, we need a fair number of posts. And my development site doesn't really have any posts. So let's configure related posts. And you'll note that it takes us to settings, reading. And right here's the related posts section. And here's what they're going to look like. These are not actually my posts. These are just examples. But here we can say, show a related header to more clearly separate the related section from posts. Or use a large and visually striking layout. Or do nothing and simply have these. Let's take a look at each of those. Here I have a category about NASCAR. And I'm going to click on this one. And we'll go to the bottom. And you'll see that I have posts. Now at the moment, there isn't really anything to separate the fact that this is not part of this post. And so let's turn on Show a Related Header. I'll save changes. And now it says related. There. Now it looks a little different. And I could make it look a lot different with some CSS. But let's also use a large and visually striking layout. There we are. Now, you'll note that the images are different sizes. That's because these two posts don't actually have featured images. They're simply pulling images from the post itself, which could be any size. And this one doesn't have any images attached to it at all. It's actually just a link. And so it can look a little chaotic. It would look a lot better if I actually had the proper sized images for them. So maybe my site isn't right for the large and visually striking layout. And I'd like to point out something else. You'll note that these are not in the category NASCAR. I mentioned earlier that it chooses from NASCAR. When you're properly connected to WordPress.com, it does read through your posts. And it does work slow. But it does it all on WordPress.com's servers, rather than slow yours down. That's the whole point of Jetpack. And that is that you are connected to WordPress.com, and you have the power of their servers available to you. So it still has the problem of being slow, but all of the slowness happens on their servers, and your end users never notice. Your site is still super quick. That's really all there is to this plugin. Those two settings, and it automatically puts related posts at the bottom of your posts.